Hey y'all, it's Megan. So I wanted to refilm an intro to this video because this is part two of my um, zero waste videos. So this is the bathroom, bathroom and like skincare stuff. This was a continuation of the other video I filmed. So I just jump right in when I start. So I wanted to film a little intro video and my hair is short. So I've been cutting my own hair for about three years and I got real cocky, I guess. And this happened. So I really screwed up. My hair had like two different layers in it. Um, so I freaked out for a second and then I couldn't help but laugh at the situation. And I was lucky enough to get a same day uh, appointment and this is the aftermath of me <laughs> doing my own hair. It's just hair, it'll grow back, I don't care. Um, without further ado, let's get into the rest of my video with my long hair. Bathroom and beauty items. These are kind of the items that I started first with because I've been making my own body scrubs, um, face wash, face scrubs, um, all of that stuff for quite a long time now. So this is the stuff that I like the most. So right off the bat, we start with a regular bar of soap um, is what I use in the shower. I stopped using body wash probably almost 10 years ago um, and I've just been using a bar soap. Because I have curly hair, I had to be really careful and do my research on um, shampoo bars that were gonna be safe for my hair because a lot of them um, are very harsh and I plan on doing an entirely separate video about shampoo bars, what you need to know, all of the ins and outs of that. So for now, I'm just gonna talk about the two I have in front of me. I recently found the brand High Bar and their uh, shampoos are pH balanced. Two of the three shampoo bars are safe for curly hair. So this is the shampoo bar that I've been using and I love it. You just get it wet. You either rub it straight on your hair or you um, rub it between your hands, which is normally what I do. And then my conditioner bar, which takes a lot longer to go through. So I use um, a solid shampoo bar and a solid conditioner bar. I also use a flaxseed gel that I make. I'm out of it right now but it essentially looks like brown snot. Um, it works amazingly well though. All I do is boil whole flax seeds in water for like 10 or 15 minutes and then strain it. And then you're left with this stringy, goopy um, gel that's full of healthy fats and I don't know, good stuff for your hair. So my hair likes that stuff the absolute most. Then in the shower, I also make um, a, I make sugar scrubs. So this is just sugar, um, coconut oil, avocado oil, and ground oatmeal. And I've been reusing these containers over and over and over again. This is um, probably one of my favorite scrub recipes. I love the oatmeal. It's um, really good for dry skin in the winter. So every once in a while, or maybe once a week, I'll use this in the shower as well my safety razor, which was my first video. So I love this thing. Um, I plan on keeping it forever and yeah. So no more um, razor cartridges for me. Uh, so now we move on to face. So normally I will use coconut oil to remove my makeup. So just scoop it out on dry skin, rub it in and your makeup will just kind of melt away and then rinse it off with a wet uh, washcloth and then you're done. So normally I'll do that. Sometimes I will use a microfiber cloth because I still own them. Um, I've got a couple of Norwex cloths and they work really well. I do want to find um, one of those microfiber catcher things to put in your washing machine. So if any of y'all know of any of those um, that work, let me know. So. I'll remove my makeup before I get in the shower normally, then uh, 
in the shower, I make my own like base grains, we'll say. And this can be as simple as ground oats, y'all. Uh, ground oats have natural saponophens in them and they will cleanse your skin gently and without stripping it and it will also uh, gently exfoliate your skin as well. So just grind up some oats, put them in a jar and dump it in your hand and then put water in your hand. Don't put any water in here otherwise it'll mold. But this particular one is oh, ground almonds, ground oats. I think there's some matcha in here. I put a little bit of witch hazel because it's an alcohol base so it won't mold. And I put a little bit of oil in here too, so it was super moisturizing and some essential oils. So I like to play around and experiment with these. Every time I run out, I'll just make something new and put in whatever I want. There may be ground lavender and ground calendula in here too, so. But it can be as simple as oats, y'all. Um, then I make my own toner and I bought these little squares, uh, little cotton squares off of Amazon. And I've just been reusing them and washing them. I've made quite a few different rest toner recipes over the years. Um, I've done it to where it's mainly water and like a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I've done mainly water and a little bit of witch hazel. I've done water and a little bit of rose water because I can buy it in a glass um, spray bottle off of Amazon, but I want it to last longer. Um, this, I think currently this one I'm on is, um, it's rose water. So it's three quarter, th three quarters, three quarters full of filtered water or regular water. Um, and then I will put in rose water, just a dash of witch hazel to make sure that it doesn't go bad. And then um, any essential oils that I want. So I'll use this toner with my little reusable cotton rounds when I get out of the shower. And then I'll moisturize with some kind of oil that I find on Amazon. This right now, this oil is squalane oil. Um, and it's a very uh, lightweight oil. It absorbs really fast and it will almost, it'll take forever to go bad. Um, you gotta watch some of those fancy oils. They'll expire in six months if you leave them at room temp. So I needed an oil that I knew would last forever. So squalane oil is the one I've been buying and I like it. Dry shampoo. Oh shit. I use cornstarch. I will put it in a little container. I'll use an old makeup brush. I'll dab it in here, tap it off, dab it in my roots, or sometimes I'll just put my fingertips straight in there and kind of go in the sides because I used it this morning. Um, I'm blonde, so it's fine, but you can also add cocoa powder in here if you need to, to make it a little bit darker. Cornstarch, arrowroot powder, bake, I wouldn't use baking soda because it's really harsh. Um, it has a really high pH. It's not great for your scalp. So this is my dry shampoo. And deodorant. So um, my mom actually had this it was from Little Seed Farm. So I tried it at her house and I loved it. It worked really well. And I found out that the secret ingredient is um, magnesium hydroxide. So when I ran out of this, I actually went through two jars and this one's empty. I decided to buy a bag, which came in plastic, but I bought a big giant bag of magnesium hydroxide and I made my own and yeah it works really well i'm still playing with the recipe a little bit and i didn't blend it up very well so you've got little balls of powder in there which is fine it melts when you start smearing it but it's basically just oils and waxes um to make it kind of solid and then arrowroot powder and magnesium hydroxide and i once i get my recipe down i'll probably post a recipe video for this um because i'm super pumped about this because this little guy even though i love it so much um and meow meow tweet is also a really good um deodorant that comes in a glass jar but this is like 11.99 and my entire bag of magnesium hydroxide was like 14 dollars, and i have all the other ingredients to make this they're just wasting away in my cabinet so i need to use them up anyway so yeah.
then when it comes to my teeth, of course, I'm on the bamboo toothbrush train. When you're done with these, all you have to do is just rip the bristles out and then this, um, the, whatever, this can be composted and then the bristles need to be thrown away because the bristles are plastic. I have yet to find um, biodegradable bristles. So if anyone knows, let me know. And my tongue scraper. Y'all, this is one of those things that I didn't know I needed it until I got it. This thing is freaking incredible. And I'm working on a toothpaste recipe because I'm using um, Trader Joe's toothpaste right now and I've made a few toothpaste recipes in the past that I haven't loved so I'm still trying to find the right one and yeah so I'm working on that. All right that's it for this video. Please give a like and subscribe if you're liking this content. I've got more recipe videos planned so those will be coming soon um, and that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Bye!